Hi everyone, this is Mr. Joshua here with Valentine, the beloved, my plus one, who's going to be here to talk to me about stuff today. It's going to be great. How are you, Valentine? Pretty good. Awesome. Say hi to the audience. Hi. Okay. So what we talked about today? I have a situation. You have hypothetical a situation. Hypothetical situation. Okay. You love these hypothetical situations. Somebody. I do. I really do. Mm-hmm. So, the world being taken over by zombies. Zombies. Bring that up. Like, we're not even 10 episodes in and we're already into zombies. Okay. Yes. I love zombies, Valentine. This shouldn't be a surprise. I made a podcast for one. I invented a board game for them. I took over my school with zombies and then attacked our culture festival like a talent show with zombies. It was amazing. I, I remember. Like mm-hmm. I, I can tell. But you're not going to... Well, you'll like them here, I guess. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. Anyway, I'm not finished with my situation. Okay. They are taking over the, the world or, you Neat. know, trying to do bad stuff like zombies right. sometimes do. Sure, yeah, that's how it works. Go on. <laughs> if you could only have one weapon with you, what weapon? Baseball bat. Would it really? Yep. A baseball bat? Yep. What would the baseball bat do that like a super like sword would not? Swords rust and with time will grow dull and weak and I don't have a sharpening stone apparently because all I have is a sword. <laughs> so it'll be good for about two zombies and then I'll die. The baseball bat, however, is a blunt object. Going to last a while. Why are we getting so technical about this? Yes, I want a baseball bat. It's a better idea. It lasts longer. They work better, and they're really easy to find and stuff. And I know I have like 20 swords, but if we got attacked by zombies, I would go grab like my wooden ones because the metal ones are just gonna get destroyed. And I like them, you know. Blood destroys things so bad. Oh, so bad. They just rust immediately. It'd be awful. <laughs> this stink. No, I tell you about the wooden ones. Blunt trauma. It's all about brain damage. Zombies. Yeah. But what if the baseball bat broke, then... And the sword wouldn't because... Oh, no, you're right. This is much better. I'll just have a thin piece of metal, which will be dull as a spoon. I'll just go fight zombies with a spoon. A very <laughs> large spoon. That's what I'll do. That'll be just as effective. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's my weapon of choice. The spoon. The spoon? I'm just gonna... I understand. It's a very logical choice. <laughs> I'm gonna have, like, a set of silverware and just, like, a fork and I guess that's more than one so I can't really although yeah. if, if I could say like a set of silverware is one weapon then I sure you know because of silverware we'll give it to you that's perfectly fine <laughs> that probably wouldn't go well I I mean nothing I I die in like 10 minutes so it doesn't matter with the silverware no with any zombie invasion I'd be that I'd be the Minuteman guy I'd be like oh shit I gotta go do something I'd run out to try to save people and then die I know oh. this would happen. That's exactly what would happen. It'd be like, okay, ready, set, go, zombies. Oh, no. Grabs wooden sword, runs out, kills like four zombies, sees a person, tries to save them, dies. That's not That's exactly how I died last time, too. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Exactly what happened. In uh, college, we had a humans versus zombie game, which is very fun. If you have one at your school, you should go. Um, and in this human versus zombies game, there were humans and zombies, and you gotta use dark guns and socks. I have a lot of dark guns, but I didn't bring any of them to college because I thought that I wasn't allowed to have them. <laughs> Silly me. So I only use socks. That's fine. I became a sock ninja. Took over the world with socks. And, um, yeah. I was, uh, the best player on the entire game. I was referred to as the boss, which is where that nickname came from. Uh... Yes, that's where that nickname came from. I was referred to as the boss of the game. Uh, while I was a human, I was the hardest human to kill, and once I died, I was the best zombie. So that was good. Not because I was the fastest or anything. I was pretty fast at that time. I... Not so much anymore, but it was a pretty fast. Uh, but the best part was, I would just talk to other zombies and just have massive invasions of zombies. I don't care how good you are. If I have 20 friends, you lose. I don't <laughs> care what you have or how many darkens you have or how many socks you have. You can't win. So, more out well. I just staged ambushes, and thus I became known as the boss. How? The end. Oh, but I died because my friend was trying to escape. And I was feeling confident, as I always do in zombie invasions, because I'm fine on my own. But they're like, no, I can't let him die. So I dived over a wall, killed <laughs> three zombies with socks. It was great. I was like, no, sock, sock, sock. And they all died. And I was like, yes. And then there were like four of the zombies on the other side of the wall that I just jumped over. And I was like, mmm, I did this well. The good news is I saved my friend. The best news is I killed him the next day. <laughs> <laughs> that was the best part. Next day, he was running back with this girl he liked, and I'm like, oh, that's so adorable. I'm not going to let you live. I killed them both. <laughs> it was hysterical. Good times. How, this is, how it's did the, an hour. What? How did the socks play? I get the dark guns, like using the dark gun. you didn't have gun. a dark gun, you used socks. But what did you, you just throw a sock at someone? Allow me to demonstrate. Oh, I, ah! 
<laughs> the end. That's all the time we have for today, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you all for watching. This has been Valentine, my plus one. I'm Mr. Joshua, and we will be back shortly with another episode. Thank you for watching. Bye. Thank you.